today I'm back on Totem Island to finish my quest for the 19 different totems and beat the whole game of Minecraft. There is a different boss guarding each totem, which I'll have to defeat before taking the totem to be my own. Will I be able to complete my quest, find all 19 totems, and use their power to beat the whole game of Minecraft? Stick around to find out. Alrighty, we're back here in the village. Uh, as you can see, the raid is, yes, it's still going on. Uh, there's been just continuous raids here. I have no idea what happened to those pumpkins there. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty much going to continue right back up where we left off. As you can see, there's a bunch of totems to collect here. Uh, we already have a good amount of them. The totem of wall punching, cat eyes, teleportation, speed, jump, uh, fire. I have the best ones um, hanging out in my hotbar here, like, like the totem of fire. Uh, that one is pretty sweet. So, yep, we're going to start with the last one that we got in the last episode. It was on the Stone Island. So we're going to go to this one. I think it's the Jungle, actually, uh, which has three totems for us. If you're unfamiliar with how this works, pretty much there in each biome, uh, there is two to three different, like, temples or boss areas, pretty much. And once I defeat each of those bosses, I unlock a totem. Uh, the boss doesn't really have anything to do with the totem that you win. Like, it's not like you defeat, like, a like a speed boss to get this speed totem. Uh, it's kind of just random what, who has who, but each boss that you defeat gives you a, a totem power to unlock. Uh, and once I have all the totems, I'm going to see how long it takes me to beat the game and defeat the Ender Dragon with my totems, which I don't think will take too long. Uh, as you can see, some of these totems that I have are really sweet, and I'm pretty excited to see. Okay, so here we are uh, at the jungle wizard, it looks like. Uh, let's get on inside here. I, I hear something down there. It looks like there's a bunch of emeralds around here uh, if we need them. I don't really think I need them, so I'm just going to leave them there. Okay, here we go. Jungle wizard. Try to take him out here. Don't let him move too much. Don't let him attack. Whoa, okay dodge that all right and we got him sweet oh that looks like a very interesting totem here this is going to be the totem of health regen oh awesome okay uh, i want to try this out right now actually so let me get this totem of health regen down here get it equipped i'm pretty sure it probably just gives me regeneration yeah regeneration too so pretty much while i'm holding this and then if i let it go it it goes away okay so that's all right you don't got to worry about him all right, this might be the boss floor. Nope, okay, we got one more floor here. There he is. Hello, Mr. Boss. Let's use the uh, Totem of Fire on you. Get you down here. We do not want the totem to burn, so we gotta... Yeah, this is probably isn't the best strategy here. Okay, I'm getting pretty low, actually, here. Let's take out that potion of... Or the Totem of Regen. Regen my health. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's actually doing a super great job, to be honest with you. Oh no, get away from the fire. It definitely helps, but it's... Did I miss the totem? Did I... No. No, did I just lose the totem? Okay, no, I got it. Okay, I got it. Oh, I thought I just lost that for some reason, but no, I got it. So the totem that I got is of infinite mining. I just wasn't looking in the right spots. Uh, here it is. I'm not really sure what it does. Token of Im totem of infinite mining. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so this totem of infinite mining, pretty much, I think what this does okay yeah so it's oh my gosh that's pretty cool so i can pretty much just go like this just spam and it creates ores that of course i can mine and get diamonds and stuff all right here we go the final jungle wizard the last two haven't been too hard so i'm not too worried i am not going to use the fire strategy though anymore because that's just too risky all right we got his totem totem of water will Oh, don't tell me. Okay, so I just have conduit power, so I'm not exactly sure what this totem is supposed to do. Uh, I'm headed over to the water right now just to try out and see. Um, I did warp back to the village. This village returning here uh, will get me back to the village just in an instant, uh, which is very helpful. And, uh, okay, what's, so what's, because I'm really confused by this. I'm just going to give this to these guys. There you go, guys. Have fun with that. 
I gotta go deal with bigger problems. Alrighty, we've made it to the first swamp wizard, uh, swamp boss here. Oh man, that gave me a lot of damage. Let's actually drink this health potion. This will be perfect for this. Okay, I think we're close. Yep, there he is. Alright. Oh, mighty swamp wizard. Oh, no, you can't get away from me. No, no. Give me your power. Alright, yes, we got the totem. And it was the totem of pushback. Alright, interesting. Well, we have a lot of zombies right here we can test it on. Let's get up here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh. Alright, I gotta try this on some skeletons. Oh, yes. He doesn't stand a chance. Look, he can't even shoot an arrow. It must not be doing too much damage as he lasts a long time, but... Wow. Alright, well, on to the next totem. Maybe I'll try using this totem of pushback on the boss here, see how it works. Hello. Oh! Look, he's just not even touching me. I can just kind of sit and hold him here. Although I think I'll use the faster method of just using my sword, but that is pretty nice. All right, yes, we got the totem. This is the totem of strength. Oh, oh wow. Just let me just clear up all these skeletons, no problem. All right, well, let's continue our search for the totems here. Our next totems that we're gonna be going for, this one I'm, I've been dreading to do, go for this one. I've been saving it for last, but it's time. Uh, but don't worry, I have a plan. This one right here. You might be wondering why that one's such a big deal. It's so close. It's just probably in the water where you gotta swim a little bit. No big deal. That is not in the water. That is in the scar. That is a flying city. Okay, <laughs> got the raid going on here still, but that's a flying, boss up there. So obviously I'm gonna need a lot of dirt to get up there. I don't really have a ton of dirt right now. I need to clear out my inventory a little bit. Uh, however, I'm going to use my totem of wall punching here uh, to mine a bunch of dirt just because it mines dirt super fast like this. So let me clear out. All right, I definitely overestimated on how much dirt we would need. We're almost there and we still have like three stacks left. I'm pretty confused here. I'm not really sure. Uh, where there's definitely a totem here, but I'm not, I'm not too sure. I guess I can. Oh whoa! Oh, <gasps> a totem. There was no boss for this. I mean, it was just the totem hiding in the chest. Totem of feather falling. Oh my gosh! Let's just literally just dig towards the spruce biome. Use our feather falling and fly right on out. So this is definitely the optimal way uh, to get down. Although it's not, um, didn't really travel a super long distance. Uh, we glided down, but we still landed in the water. Uh, that's okay though. We have our totem of jump, totem of speed here. So we'll be able to get uh, to this first boss biome here in a matter of no time. Yeah, look at this. This tree running strat is so overpowered. I, I really wish I could fly. Um, a totem of flying would be amazing, but I, I mean, totem of feather falling is pretty cool too, because, oh, oh my gosh, I can kind of glide now. I can, I can use these three biomes together to kind of fly. Just use the feather falling. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so on to the Taigo wizard. Now we don't really need to be using the speed. Uh, let's get uh, some of the, the cat eyes, totem of cat eyes, which will give me night vision. And also I should probably make sure that my inventory is not full because then I won't collect the totem. I don't know why I have two apples not stacked up on each other. My inventory's kind of been a mess for this whole video. All right, here's the wizard. Let's knock him out before he even has a chance to hit me once. Okay. Oh, he's trying to escape. No, I don't think so, buddy. All right, we got potion of a totem of pillager. Let me see what this is all about. Oh, whoa. All right, we're arriving up. Oh, whoa, no way. Is there two wizards? Okay, I don't know. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's glide down here. Well, actually, we don't need to because there's water. But what's going on? Why is there, why am I seeing double right now?
Yep, one hit. Yeah, let's see how let's see how these wizards Oh look, their health bars are going down. Something is just is is defeating them somehow. Oh my gosh, it's doing a lot of damage. What's going on? Oh, is that spider jockey? No way, that spider jockey's taking him out? Yo. Yo, what's, oh my gosh, that is totally what's going on. Spider jockey's helping us out. Yo, the skeleton's helping us. Thank you, man. Thank you for that totem. What totem did we just hit? Totem of absorption? Okay. Oh. Now finish the job, Mr. Skeleton. Oh no, the skeleton's down. R.I.P. to the homie. Okay, and we somehow just got another totem of absorption, which we don't really need, so I'm just gonna leave that here. Uh, but yeah, so now we have all of the totems that we needed to collect, so now it is time to make our way uh, through the end game of Minecraft, uh, starting by going to the nether. So I think I'm just gonna honestly just I would just dig down right here and all right so i eventually found this lava pool here uh, i had some trouble finding the cave but i did find the lava pool uh, with enough obsidian around to make another portal so let's head into the nether here we're going to try to find hopefully we spawn in a very open area here where it's easy to find another fortress oh i'm already taking damage all right so yes we did spawn in an open ish area uh, unfortunately i'm not seeing a fortress right off the bat here uh, which does kind of suck. Uh, we do have our dirt here. We have about a stack and a half left. Uh, so we'll be able to use this to mark the way so that we don't get lost. All right, so it took us a decent amount of time, not a horribly long time, uh, but we did end up finding uh, another fortress here. Let's get over, I think I saw, okay, it looks like there might be a blaze thing over there, but I'm pretty sure, okay, so yeah, there is some blazes there, uh, blaze spawner. So I'm probably just gonna hang out here for a while. Uh, grab some blaze rods and then uh, yeah um, I don't know if I'm gonna end up heading back to my portal because I did go past a ruined portal on my way over here oh god we got, we're gonna have to uh, definitely block up this lava here I think we just lost one of those blaze rods unfortunately uh, so let's just do this we'll hang out here by the blazes get some blaze rods and then head back to the ruined portal uh, to try to get to that end dimension as soon as possible all right so it looks like there's a, a raid going on at this village right now. I'm not really sure uh, why. Uh, oh, yo, 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 Okay, 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 okay. I think the stronghold has to be somewhere around here. Um, somewhere about in between here. Uh, just because it was le it was just leading me over in this direction, and now it's saying to go back the other direction. So I'm thinking it must be somewhere around here. I'm not totally sure. Um, just because. Oh yes, yes. Okay. Stronghold has been found. Let's go. And now let's just try to find the portal room as fast as we can. The raid is still going on up above, uh, but that's okay because I don't think the raiders will find their way down here. Okay, we got a little bookshelf area. Usually, the okay, here we go. We made it. Let's uh, get rid of this creeper here. We don't want him to mess anything up for us. All right, and I think we should have enough. Uh, oh, God. We should have enough Eyes of Ender here. Oh my gosh, just enough. All right, let's escape here, get into the end, escape the raid, even though we don't really gotta escape the raid. Okay, so what totems are gonna be useful for our fight here? I think the totem of strength, totem of pillager. Um, I think maybe the totem of regen might be helpful. Uh, totem of teleportation, I could see that being helpful. And now maybe we should just I don't know if we should try a direct attack. Yeah, let's try a direct attack here with the totem of strength. Come on, Ender Dragon. Come on, come on. Oh, mate, maybe not. He's back. He's back. Come on, Ender Dragon. All right. So maybe, maybe we can just get him every time he comes to the center here. Uh, depends on how much we'll be able to injure him with this totem of strength here. Yes, we got him. All right. So. Ender Dragon has been defeated. There he goes. Uh, with our Totem of Pillager. 
Totem of Strength and Totem of Absorption. That was no problem at all. Uh, we got this XP here. Uh, Dragon Egg is there. Let's go and let's get into the portal. With that, we've made it back to the village. Uh, the original village. You can see my tower there. All the destruction I've caused. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. We did end up defeating the Ender Dragon with our totems. If you want more videos like this, be sure to leave a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next one.